All right, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create this neat alert notification. And if we tap on this button, you will see that you get this very beautiful notification at the top and it looks great. It has a nice animation that zooms in and out. And if you tap on it, you can add an action and it's highly customizable. It uses a very nice library called Alerter. But let's get started immediately by going to the Alerter GitHub page which is by Tapadu. You'll find this Gradle implementation down here that says current version, but I will copy it from my previous build. So let's just close this and go to our Gradle file. And down here you want to copy and paste and add the 6.1.0 implementation and click on sync now. And once it's successful, we can go straight to our layout XML and click on activity main and go to the split view. And we're gonna change the text view to a button. So let's just do that real quick. Give it an ID of button, button to keep things very simple. And we're gonna change the text to alert and put an exclamation mark at the end. Then we can go to our main activity file and get started with the rest. So the first thing we want to do is create an onclick listener. So we're gonna do button underscore button dot set on click listener. And inside here, we're going to type alerter.companion. We're going to type create with this, and then we're going to set the title. So we'll set title and we'll write title just to keep things very simple. Then we can do dot set text, and this will be the description. Then let's set an icon. We'll do set icon, and we can go to our Drupal file and create one real quick. We'll do new vector assets. We'll click here and we'll click a random one this time. So we'll click this happy man, which is an accessibility icon and change it to white. And we'll click on that and click on finish. Then in here we can do r.drawable dot this accessibility icon. And you can put any icon you prefer. I just decided to use that. Then we can also set a background color. So we're gonna do set background color res. And we are gonna use dot caller accent, which is going to be the very light blue when you go to callers. Usually this is the default one. We can actually just change it to this nice red for the example and go back to our main activity. And let's set the duration to be 4000, which is four seconds. And then let's also set an on click listener in case you wanted to do something you can do set on click listener and it's gonna take your view and write on click listener. And then you can put all the code you want inside here. So we're just gonna make a very fast toast, which is gonna take application context as the context. And it's gonna say uh, alert clicked with an exclamation mark. And that's gonna handle our on click listener. And finally, we can just type dot show if that's all you want to do. And with that being said, that's actually all you need to create this very fast alert. And it's great if you have some sort of game mechanic or you want some notification to pop up inside the app. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and click on the alert. And you'll see you get this very nice alert at the top. And if you click on it, you will get a toast notification or whatever, whatever method you decide to implement will pop up. And it's very easy to implement. There are many methods you can use. Let's go back to the GitHub page such as you'll see all the usages here. You'll have this one that says alert and text. You'll have one that you can customize. You have this one that you can click on with a custom icon without the title if you prefer. One that you can add an on-click listener to. You can also add a larger text. And moving down a bit, you'll see that there are custom texts, slide to dismissed, and uh, yeah, there are just so many things you can do here. I definitely recommend you look at the documentation from Tapadu because this is a very beautiful notification layout. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped in some way. If there's any other video you'd like me to make, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to look at it and try to create a tutorial. But other than that, thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll see you in another one.